Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. For our second and final model, we are running for a fallen officer who lost his life in the line of duty. And tonight I'm running for fallen officer Kyle Hicks. He worked at the Corpus Christi Police Department in Texas, and his end of watch was April 24th of 2024. He lost his life after succumbing to gunshot wounds he sustained four days prior while at the scene of a domestic disturbance. His age is not readily available, but we do know he served two years of service with the Corpus Christi Police Department, and he previously served, well, in total, he served four years. Uh, he leaves behind a wife and four children. And he was also an organ donor. Uh, tonight I'll be running with the blue line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the truck by my school, which is the equi equivalent of a mile in his honor. And this evening I'll be joined by the Winter Springs Police Department and my family. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and the department that the hard time Mary going through and they don't be on my way. Those that are tuning in tonight, tonight's Zechariah running his second mile of the evening. Another fallen hero from Texas being honored as part of this mile. Tonight's Zechariah honoring Officer Kyle Hicks. He served with the Corpus Christi Police Department in Texas, tragically losing his life on April the 24th, 2024. He lost his life after succumbing to gunshot wounds that he sustained four days prior while responding to a domestic disturbance. His age was not readily available, but we do know he served two years of service at the Corpus Christi Police Department, having served four years of service in total. He also was an organ donor and sadly leaves behind a loving family that includes a wife as well as four children. Zechariah now completing his first of seven laps tonight, which is going to be one mile to honor the life of this fallen hero, fallen officer, Kyle Hicks. We always appreciate the various local agencies that continually come out to help us honor our fallen heroes alongside our youth runners. And tonight, helping us honor the life of fallen officer Kyle Hicks, we have a member of our home city agency, the Winter Springs Police Department, also running and walking with Zachariah tonight, Zachariah's little sister Chloe as well. Once again, we're here to pay tribute to a fallen hero, Officer Kyle Hicks of the Corpus Christi Police Department in Texas, who tragically on April the 24th, 2024, lost his life after he succumbed to gunshot wounds that he sustained four days prior while in response to a domestic disturbance call. His age not readily available, but we do know that he served four years of service in total, his last two being with the Corpus Christi Police Department. We also know that his last act was heroic as he was an organ donor, knowing that he will be saving more lives even after his life was so sadly taken. He also leaves behind a loving family that includes a wife and four children. Zachary, putting his second lap to honor Officer Hicks here tonight. For every mile that our runners complete, they carry a unique flag. Each flag gets sent to the family of the hero they run to honor, and tonight Zach right carrying a blue line flag. This flag will begin to work its way to the family of fallen Officer Kyle Hicks, along with the note that Zachary wrote earlier in the day. If you'd like more information on how you could be part of this mission, you can visit our website at runningthenumber4heroes.org. We'll also do a follow-up post later tonight with details on how you could be a part of the Running for Heroes mission. As Zechariah concludes lap number three and begins lap number four, I'm going to go silent. I'm going to remain silent for the remaining four laps as we reflect on life this hero tonight. Fallen officer Kyle Hicks. We extend our heartfelt prayers to his entire family, including his wife and his four children. We also lift up in prayer our friends with the Corpus Christi Police Department having to mourn the lost night of their fallen brother. Our hope and prayer is that this run honors him well this evening. And we thank him for his years of service and for his last heroic act of being an Oregon donor.
Zachary, any final words tonight for the family and fallen officer, Kyle Hicks? To the whole family of Officer Hicks, his wife and four children, and all of his friends and family, we hope all of you here very soon through this loss. Officer Hicks was very young. He only served four years of law enforcement career years. Um, he passed away early due to gunshot wounds, which could have been avoided with one person's decision, which is all gunshot incidents, except for inadvertent gunfire, which this was not the case with. Um, both runs tonight were for Texas. Unfortunately, this is a common thing to do on running for Heroes Run Nights, is run multiple miles for Texas in one night. I just pray it goes down. Um, obviously, Texas is one of the largest states in the United States, so obviously, they're going to have more deaths just by the nature of how big the state is and how big the population is. However, I always pray that the run count can go down for Texas because they lose so much every single year, they never catch a break. And this is a good example of that. They lost two in Texas in just the course of a few days. Just pray that the next month in May and the rest of this year can just go better for them because we have a lot of great officers over in Texas who sacrificed to their community, including Officer Kyle Hicks, who we ran for tonight. If you are part of the family, I'll be sending this blind flag very soon along with the handwritten note. We pray it helps you out. At this time, Bob and I join us in a 21 second moment of silence. Just like the 21 gun salute each second day, one amazing thing Officer Hicks did during his life. Following this will be a prayer. So, this time, please join us in this 21 seconds. Dear Heavenly Father, tonight we did a mile for a fallen officer, Officer Hicks from the Corpus Christi Police Department. God, I pray you watch over his whole department and his family through this loss, including his wife and four children. God, I pray you watch over the whole state of Texas as they continue to mourn first responders' losses. And God, I pray you just watch over all the first responders across the country as they continue to serve their community. Keep your hands over Officer Hicks' family and guide them to events like this run so they can find hope and comfort. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this two miles tonight. Um, from what I know, the next time we are running here is Friday. Um, they're going to be, well, they're going to be for half of the Charlotte first responders who passed. I'm oh, sorry. We're running for all first responders on that same night. Um, from what I know, two are going to be conducted here. And here. Um, but uh, we hope all of you have a great and safe rest of your night. And I pray God blesses you all.